Let's talk about the transparent commands. The transparent commands are commands that run within another command, adding additional functionality. The two bars are usually anchored on the right side of the drawing area. Recent upgrades in Civil 3D, the transparent commands can be found on the ribbon. Hi, my name is Yvonne Musso with ATG USA. Thank you for tuning in. There are over 20 transparent commands. I will demonstrate the most popular transparent commands used in typical situations. Let's get started. I want to apply the radius of the circle to the line work. Usually, we ID the radius, execute the fillet command, and apply the radius. Or I can execute the fillet command, select the transparent command, match radius. Found on the toolbar or on the ribbon, plan panel, or right click and select it from the list, or type apostrophe MR. Select the circle, then first line, second line, and done. This also works by selecting the curve entity from the alignment. Here I have coordinates, bearings, and distances. I will create the geometry using the polyline command and select transparent command bearing distance found here on the toolbar. Again, find it on the ribbon or right click and select it from the list or type in apostrophe BD. Select the north quadrant, type in the bearing, follow by distance. Next, select the south quadrant and follow through. Click once to exit the transparent command. Still in the polyline command, select the transparent command, northing, easting, or type apostrophe NE, enter, type in the coordinates. Click once to exit the transparent command. Click again to exit the polyline command. Let's add text to verify the information. Incidentally, the transparent commands are similar to the commands found under the line command, and these commands have been with AutoCAD for a while. LAN desktop users are very familiar with these commands. Here is a surface, and typically we draw in a feature line to identify the center line of the road, the right of way, etc. We execute the feature line command, set the old snap object to node, zoom in closely to make sure to snap to the node of the Kogo point, and that works. However, sometimes we can miss snapping to the node. It happens. There is a transparent command that can help and allows us to move along quickly. Let's see. Create feature line, accept the settings, and now select the transparent command point from object or type apostrophe PO. Not to worry about selecting the node. Select the text or the point marker of the Kogo point. Enter, continue, and it will snap to the node. Done and quickly. Click once to exit the transparent command. Click again to exit the feature line command. Here we have a typical workspace scenario. Let's lay out the proposed profile using transparent commands. Profile creation tools. Select the profile view. Accept the settings. Select draw a tangent, but any one of these will work. Select the transparent command, profile, station, elevation, or type apostrophe PSE. Select the profile view. Prompt for the station, type 20000, and the elevation, type 112.0 or select it graphically. Enter, hit escape. Still in the draw tangent command, select another transparent command, profile grade station, or type in apostrophe PGS, and it will set a grade to a station. Type in 0.2% to station 20521. Enter, hit escape. Back in the draw tangent command, select another transparent command, profile grade length, or type in apostrophe PGL. This will set a grade at a length. Type in negative 0.2% and length 180. Enter. Back in the draw tangent command. You get the idea, right? Enter and close out of the dialog box. Nice. OK, I hope I demonstrated plenty. However, the possibilities are endless. Get creative. Now it's your turn. Explore and see what works for you. Thank you from all of us at ATG USA. Hey there, thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and check out some of the other content on our channel.